call. Uh, I got called last night, actually. I'm on long call, so 12-hour call out. They called me right at 4.50 p.m. for a 4.45 show. So if you didn't know, long call is a 12-hour call out at my company, and 12 hours is the minimum amount of time that they can give you, and that's what they gave me. But like I said, 12 hours is plenty, and we are doing a two-day trip here. One layover, 25-hour layover, so that's super nice and just two legs each day. So stick around to see where we go. And also before this video even gets started here, if you guys at any point during this video think about becoming an airline pilot or want to become an airline pilot and want to know the route that I went, I have the link in my bio for a free intro flight to the school that I went to, Melbourne Flight Training for their career airline pilot program. So if you're interested, that is definitely a great spot to get your start, hit the link, give them a call. And uh, yeah, I had a great experience there, but let's enjoy the trip. We're gonna do some workouts, definitely got some runs on the plan, train for a half marathon, just getting over an ankle injury. And I have a half marathon coming up in two weeks. And then like a 60 mile run in about a month and a half, so. Let's go. Should be a good trip. All right, pre-flight is done. It is 5.06 in the morning. Like I said, super early start, but a super early start means a early finish. I think we're done by like noon today, which is super nice. And then 25 hours on the way over. But we're heading to Trenton on this first leg. It is cold there, but we're not staying, so quick turn out of there, and then back to the layover, which I'll show you in a bit. Not too exciting, been there before, but 25 hours anywhere, pretty nice. All right, we landed in Trenton, and it is cold on the ground but it's not snowing it's really a beautiful day here it's a little bit windy now we're heading to fort Myers, so back to warmer weather in florida we got 24 hours there so we can enjoy that layover in something warmer than new jersey all right breakfast this morning you can probably get something once i get to fort myers but starting off the day with a go-to bar a lot of water. Uh, it's about 50 minutes. We start to work pretty early here. We land around like 12 o'clock and we're not leaving. It's uh, two, 2 40 o'clock, so not too bad. 25 hours, four miles. The location of the hotel is decent, so it should be good. Probably just hit the hotel gym. We were wrong on the treadmill, so I'm still struggling with an ankle injury at the moment, but it's getting a lot better. I've, that half coming up, I just don't want to re roll my ankle, so just taking it easy and just staying on a nice flat treadmill. But anyway, I'll see you guys in Fort Myers. All right, we landed in Fort Myers, nice and warm here. It's like 72 and not a cloud in the sky, beautiful. I guess there's a couple months. Anyway, we did the ILS to runway six. It was my leg and uh, day one is done and we got one more day tomorrow. So we're gonna go enjoy this layover, get over to the hotel. Should be pretty nice. I think I've been to this hotel before. But I'll get a workout in and uh, find some food to explore a little bit. So I'll see you guys there. All right, we made it. This is home for the next 24 hours. Pretty decent spot, nice big bed. So this is our long stay here in Fort Myers and for those that don't know, like at different places or the same place you can stay at two different hotels based on how long you are there. And usually like your long stay is more like downtown or just like a bigger, more popular area with more restaurants or a nicer hotel. And then your short stay is usually just like a spot closer to the airport since you're only there for, you know, less than 16 hours or something like that. So we're gonna go hit a run and a lift and then go find some lunch. There's a bunch of good food options around here, so we'll see you there. All right, just took a closer look at the run plan. We got a five mile run 
and it's half a mile slow or half mile like zone two, easy pace, half mile race pace. Repeat that until you hit five miles. And then after that, we're gonna hit shoulders and biceps. I tweak my tricep. I think snowboarding and I tweaked it when I tried to lift yesterday, so falling apart. I thought this stuff, this falling apart stuff wasn't supposed to happen until you hit 30, but I hit 29 and I swear right after I hit 29 and rolled my ankle and tweaked my bicep tendon or something. Now I tweaked my tricep. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I'm gonna take it easy, warm up nice, and then get into it. This is my pre-workout creatine every single day, of course. And the endo pump, we're staying away from the caffeine today. And then for the fit today, new brand that I've been trying out lately and been loving, ASRV. Shorts are sick, but I'll see you guys at the gym starting off with the run. All right, here's the gym. If you've been following this channel, we've been here before. Dumbbells are 50, so not bad. Nice big mirror, one treadmill. And thankfully I have it all to myself because I'm using the treadmill for a little bit and then I'm gonna do, like I said, biceps and shoulders and just try to adjust to not hurt my tricep. So let's go. Let's get started on this run. All right, run done, lift time, absolutely drenched. It's like an average pace of eight, like 8.05 or something, or 8.02 for five miles. So felt good, ankle felt all right, felt a little stiff in the beginning, but overall feels good to just be able to run. So now I'm gonna hit some arms, keep it really simple here. Just do straight buys and shoulders, and I'll show you what I'm doing right now. All right, super simple workout we are doing just two workouts, one for the biceps, one for the shoulders, but 10 sets of each. So we're doing 20, 12, 10, and then seven sets of eight on each of these workouts. We're on the sets of eight right now at 35 pounds and really trying to control that weight throughout the movement. Something I'm also trying to focus on a little bit more lately with my bicep curls is bringing my elbows a little bit more forward and squeezing up at the top, controlling all the way to the top. I, I found out feeling myself that sometimes when I get to the top, I kind of just like jerk it up a little bit and I'm not having that full contraction at the top. And that's why I think my bicep isn't very, like doesn't have a very good peak. I don't know, it's also genetics as well, but I'm just trying to work on that peak a little bit more, turning those pinkies in and squeezing up at the top. Um, but yeah, a few more sets of this and then on the shoulders. All right, moving on to shoulders. So same thing, 20, 12, 10, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. And actually the last two sets on the bicep curls, I decided to go to failure. I've been loving to go to failure on the last set or a couple sets of my workout. So last two sets, failure on these. And then, like I said, starting off super light. We did 10 for 20, and then we're gonna do 15 pounds for 12 reps. Nice, slow control. These are basically like warm up sets, and then we get into our working sets for the last seven to eight sets. <sighs> All right, workout done. Solid workout, sweated a lot. A lot of people ask me what I do with my sweaty clothes and my sweaty shoes on trips like this because throw them back in your bag with your dry clean clothes, a little bit sketch. So simple, easy, probably can already guess what I do. I just throw in a plastic bag. I bring one plastic bag for my shoes and I bring one plastic bag for my sweaty gym clothes and that's how I separate it. You know, it works. So workout's done. I'm gonna shower up and then find some food. I think there's a Chipotle nearby, but there's some other options. I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I need something with a lot of protein because I forgot my protein powder once again. So, blew it. But I'm gonna go find something good for sure. There's a bunch of good options around here. All right, right across the street is a Chipotle. So, that's what I'm getting. Super easy and one of my favorite meals. Double chicken, tea on the side, make a burrito, and then have the bowl. The best way to order is for 
It's also Zoe's kitchen. Nope, that's closed. That location is temporarily closed, so we're getting some Chipotle. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a back ball. All right, back at the Hotel Chipotle. Hit like it always does. And now it is 4.30 and I'm already exhausted. I'm probably gonna go to sleep around like 8 p.m. tonight. But before then, I usually use this time to edit, answer emails, stuff like that. Usually, especially if I'm like on a work trip flying, I use this time to get a lot of other work done, like social media stuff. I think I might find dinner later too, just cause I've only had like one full meal. If I'm tired, I might just pass out and then wake up and I think I'm gonna hit another workout here before we leave tomorrow. Cause tomorrow is like a two, three-ish departure. And then I'm not getting back into Tampa until like 10 p.m. So it'll be a long day, but I'm gonna squeeze a workout in the morning. Well, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, it is 7.30 and I'm getting hungry again. And I know I should eat, I need some more calories in me. So I'm about to take myself on a date to the Cheesecake Factory. It's a Valentine's Day. Unfortunately, I'm not with my girlfriend, Gracie, because I got the call, but that's all right. Uh, we're gonna celebrate a different night, but I'm gonna take myself on a date. All right, here we go. Taking myself on a date to the Cheesecake Factory. We're gonna get this chicken salad sandwich, and then probably gonna get one of the cheesecakes, because why not? I mean, there's so many options. This uh, Oreo Dream Extreme or the Reese's Peanut Butter Chocolate. Oh my God, I don't know. One of these are going down. One of these are going down for sure. All right, chicken salad sandwich was money and then I was gonna get a piece of cheesecake, but too full. It wasn't, I was, I was real excited to order it. I should have just ordered it first, but whatever. After I had the, the freaking chicken salad sandwich, it was like not happening. But anyway, good to get another thousand-ish calories and some more protein in. And now it's time to go to sleep early. I mean, I woke up this morning like 3.15 or 3.30. So I'm tired. I'm ready to pass out. See you up there. All right. It is almost 9 o'clock. Time to pass out. Retainers in, so you know it's time to pass out. I'll see you guys in the morning. It was a good day. We have another two legs tomorrow, and it's go home day. So hopefully, smooth up to Buffalo and then back to Tampa, getting home around like 10 p.m. So late start. So we'll probably start the day with uh, a workout of some sort, and then just hang out, find some good breakfast, and the first watch across the street that I've been to before that's really good. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, two legs, and then the uh, trip is over, so see you tomorrow. All right, good morning. Uh, slept in pretty hard, it's 9.30 right now, slept like 10 and a half hours, which I needed since I didn't get much sleep last night, um, or the previous night. We got some time here, we're not leaving till like two o'clock. I'm gonna have a little go bar for some pre-workout carbs, obviously a bunch of water. And I'll probably have, or no, I'm definitely gonna have ugh, creatine and endo pump again pre workout. And I think I'm gonna hit a back and chest workout. And then no run is on the plan today. And then I'm gonna go to first watch, get some breakfast, chill out a little bit. And then we're off for the day. I'll see you guys at the gym. We're gonna do four different movements, two chest, two back, five sets of each. So 10 sets of chest, 10 sets of back. We're gonna start off with incline dumbbell press, five sets of probably around 15-ish. Uh, pairing that with a chest supported dumbbell row and then we're gonna go into push-ups paired with another dumbbell row, but we'll do a standing dumbbell row. So 10 sets of each body part. Let's get it. Workout done, 
on just the four movements, super set at each thing. So it only took me like 30 minutes. And that is the benefit of super setting if you're tight on time. Not really super tight on time today, but I just kind of wanted to do a faster workout, keep my heart rate up, get a good pump, and it was a good one. Um, now I'm gonna go to first watch and get some breakfast because then we're flying for the rest of the day. So this will probably be my only like big meal of the day unless I can find something in Buffalo, but we'll see. I'll see you at first watch. First watch. Last time they had this burrito that was insane. So I really hope they have it this time. We will see. All right, dressed up, ready to go. Heading to Buffalo and then back to St. Pete. Go home day and I just hung out for a little bit after I ate. Two legs and done. So first leg will be my captain's. He's flying, I'll be pilot monitoring, and then I'll be flying back into Tampa. And uh, yeah, it should be nice and smooth-ish. Hopefully the weather's not too, uh, too bumpy in between here and New York. But see you guys on the plane. All right, we are off to Buffalo. We have maintenance on board right now, so hopefully not too much of a delay. We have a number three brake indicator not showing our temperature. So hopefully they can fix that. If not, I think we can defer it. We just have to do like a formula to just make sure the brakes aren't too hot to take off. First legs of the captain, then I'll take the next one back to Tampa. All right, got myself some protein. I think the delay won't be too long. Maintenance still on there, but hopefully we'll get out of here soon. Picking up some ice on the way in, and uh, super windy. Cap took that landing though, but we popped out pretty early. It was supposed to pop out like 400 feet, but we popped out like 1,500 feet. Back to Florida, back to some warmer weather. My leg, go home day. Let's let's get home with no problems. All right, I found dinner. We got a BLT sandwich with some chips. While well, I'm setting up the box, the snow has stopped and uh, I don't think we'll have to de-ice. So we are good to go, heading out of here, we're going back to Tampa. All right, we are back in Tampa. That was my leg, super good weather here. Pretty much no wind. Uh, shot me visual back up with the ILS. One left as usual, come back into Tampa. And one of my smoothest landings in a 321. Uh, don't mean to brag, but it was a great one. It was a nice landing, but obviously the conditions made it pretty easy. When it's super light winds, it makes it a lot easier to have a nice smooth, smooth landing. If there are any like really bad gusts and it's windy and bouncy, it makes it a little bit harder to get that smooth, smooth landing. So anyway, back home, I'll see you guys back at the apartment. All right, we're back at the apartment and the tree is coming down. Finally, we just hit 100K. Thank you all for subscribing. I've been waiting to take this tree down forever. Tree. Yeah, we're taking it down. We hit 100. <laughs> Gracie's here, and she got me a present, which I'm pumped about. Some new shoes, it looks like, heck yeah. And we got some new shoes for our race coming up. We both are gonna be rocking the Hoka X1s or some one X1s or something. I don't know, anyway, it's like Hoka's new race shoe. But, yeah, we went fast. But yeah, thanks again for watching. Um, again, if you are looking to become an airline pilot, I'm not just promoting my school because they sponsor me. I actually had an incredible experience there. I saved a lot of money going there. It's a cheaper, better option than the adjacent school, in my opinion, FIT. And it's definitely cheaper than um, ATP. So if you guys are in the area or are willing to change locations to go to a flight school, Melbourne Flight Training, link in the description. Check it out. But once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.